Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, illustrious family. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, the minister of soul, because that's what I do. I come from my soul, Khadija. All right. Uh, uh-uh. What I wanted to talk about right now is even though I haven't watched this guy and I know I'm a little late because when something pretty much groups a whole group of people together and then starts spewing negative information, uh, I pretty much turn it off, you know, or I don't really listen to it because as old as I am, most of the stuff that it's been said, it's been said before, it's just that y'all hard-headed, stiff-necked, and rebellious, and you don't listen, okay? From everything, from the ruler to the tutor, from what Fran Hampton told us, from what the Panthers told us, from what, I mean, it doesn't really matter, okay? Because we don't listen, and everybody think that they are smarter, everybody got the answer, everybody wants to be a leader, but they can't even lead their own households, okay? Their own households are falling apart. But they want to get on YouTube and be uh, leaders, okay? That's not what, in my opinion, leadership really is, okay? Leadership is down in the trenches. Leadership is sharing the same. uh, And you have to be a good follower, first of all, to be a good leader. And some of y'all just ain't willing to follow anybody, no place. As soon as the going gets a little tough, a lot of y'all run. As soon as some something is confronted about some things that y'all don't want to talk about, instead of y'all standing there like grown men and women, y'all grab a gun, shoot up everybody, and that's the it. And you can't maintain a society with people like that in it. So when they come round all y'all up, because I want y'all to know right now, I don't have no sympathy for what happened to Young Thug and them. Don't come at me talking about do I have... Oh, that's the Rico. They want to put everybody on the guy. Listen, what these people are doing are bothering my immediate space. And if you need somebody to come and tell you as a black man not to go and shoot up your damn community, not to have shootouts with kids on the playground, not to whiz bullets past people's heads and they don't have anything to do with whatever you tripping on, then I don't give a damn what happens to you. I'm not going to be talking about no black power shit. Because it don't matter. You, you're not black empowered. You're not even self-empowered. You're an enemy. You're an enemy to not only uh, humanity, and more specifically, you, you, you're you that for black people. So don't come at me with all this crazy stuff. Oh, ain't that cold what they doing with all these people uh, rounding them up in Rico? Stop singing about the shit that you're doing. Anybody with common sense know from my generation, if you do it, you ain't got to tell everybody. You talk too damn much. You got everything on YouTube and tell them what you're doing with every damn thing. You want to live stream your murders and you think I give a damn about what happened to you? You actually think any sane and rational person that's going to try to find some kind of justification and people running through the neighborhood, shooting up innocent people, I don't got no time for you. I hope you rot in hell and whatever jail they got for you, it's honey, it ain't deep enough. You better be glad I'm not in no kind of leadership. Okay, because you do that kind of shit, it's over. You rape a woman, you get castrated. It's just that simple. I don't got time to pussyfoot around with y'all. So now a lot of y'all want to sit there and talk about, oh, how they doing black people? How they doing black people? How we doing ourselves? How are they doing? Uh, how we doing ourselves? You got people going through the neighborhood with street sweepers. Going through the neighborhood, shooting at people, and the kids can't even go out and play. When I was little, we used to have to be in when the street lights came on, at least on your porch. Nowadays, y'all damn kids run the streets 24 hours a day. Like ain't no curfew. Little eight and seven-year-olds out in the damn streets. What is this? What kind of society have we come? And more specifically, what kind of black society have we become? I don't got no time for y'all. 
The black community can't afford y'all no more. Y'all destructive to the black community. And I don't care what nobody say. Charity begins at home. And then it spreads abroad. Okay? So we got to get our own act together and stop blaming people. We already know how we got in this condition. We were brought over here as slaves. We know that. So now the slave shoot itself? Why well, ain't trying to commit Harry care? And not alone with your black ass. And if I want to revol revolt against anything, it's going to be against your black ass. Because I can't have no army where I can't see through the plane who's the enemy and who's the uh, the, the, the uh, uh, camarade. camarade. <coughs> Y'all putting us in positions where <coughs> we don't know who the enemy is. They black and they white. So you're not going to get up here and sit up me uh, talking about a bunch of white folk when black people out here clowning. We couldn't even watch the damn Bucks game the other night out in the Deer District. 20 people got shot. And people running all through downtown like maniacs because some niggas decide to pull out their guns and start to shoot. I don't know how. I don't know what the cause of it was. They said it's about some little girl. I don't care. But all of us and people that down were down there with not bad intentions in their heart, just going there to celebrate the Milwaukee Bucks, hoping that they win. They lost. And as soon as the people came out, we, we walked out to shooting everywhere. People didn't care that the police was out there. Fuck the police. Don't nobody give a damn about them because they're a gang too. They sell drugs. They rape women in and out of the squad cars, take them to the parks, fuck them, do whatever they want to. So now, but you want us to clean up. This is a cesspool. And unless the leadership and the, uh, uh, the laws in, the, in this country want to take some kind of ownership in the police department, ain't nothing but a gang, and start cleaning them up the righteous way. Oh, I forgot. You can't. Because 10 years ago, they had already told you that the police department was infiltrated with white supremacists. So now you want these people to police us who ain't nothing but real slave catchers. Uh, huh? So let's have it. Either we going to stand up and the ones that stand up in truth and that's willing to defend this nation and defend its when I say his nation, my nation, they're going to let themselves be known. Okay? They're going to let themselves be known. They're not, they not going to be uh, uh, slaves to white supremacists. They don't always have to wait to be uh, retaliatory. Okay? Some of us going to be on offense. Okay? So my point is, you got a, 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 a chance to draw a line in the sand. Who are you going to serve? And this right here serves nobody. This right here serves nobody running up and down the street, shooting everything that moves. Milwaukee's crime rate is the same or a little bit off right now as it was in all of last year. And every year it goes up, 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 up. And that is not, that is every metropolitan city in the United States. Y'all think that's a coincidence? You think it's by accident or you think it's by design? And that's why I make sure I keep my passport in order because I do, I want out. I want out. Not so much because I don't think that America could be a beautiful place. And I don't call myself running. But just like y'all white people that can go visit y'all grandmamas in Germany, or you can go visit your grandma in Poland, or you can go uh, visit your grandma in Italy, I want to be able to go somewhere to get the fuck away from these people who have captured my ancestors in America. And that's the continent. There's 53 countries I got to choose them from to feel free. That is less inhibited or not under war restriction. 53. That's a big choice. 
And anything can't be worse than the hell I'm going through right now. What? To see these people not picking up behind themselves? Well, hell, if I go there with enough Americans, well, damn it, we'll start a goddamn cleanup crew. I know one thing. Anything is better than bullets whiz and pass your head every time you go outside just for some luxury. Because I can go to Walmart. Fuck Walmart. Now they're running out of food. But my friends that's in the Gambia, they got rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls of okra, beets, collard greens, mustard. My heart, as soon as they pick them, they're already growing back. I'm like, why am I here? Why? Nobody got no place for us to go when the shit hit the fan. So you better make a way for yourself. This ain't going to get no better. You didn't already heard Antoinette say, let them eat cake. That's where they at with us right now. You got police. You can't tell the police officers from the crypts. You got villain the waiver down there in California, raising hell, threatening Got gangs, the punishers. Yeah. Listen. This is a cesspool. And it's a cesspool all over the world. Anywhere where white people have been and spewed their corruption, the world has followed suit. So you have to find your own little corner of the world and make some beauty in it. Away from the black devils and definitely away from the white devils. And I'm sorry to bring y'all this hard message on a Sunday, but it's important. It's important for you to understand and see Satan when he show up. It's a travesty what has happened to this society, to this country. Instead of us being on a march forward, we on a march to destruction. And I'll see y'all in the next video.